gone. Can't take a hint. He thought the hosting job was all his. Yeah, by the end of the week. It will be done. Uh, Eric, huh? You lost the effect. Sorry, but your need is on set. I want Tyler gone. Yeah, by the end of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll get it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Okay. Where is he? Good question. No, it's great. We're going to do it without him. Okay, in three, two, one. Welcome to Grizzly Entertainments. I'm your host, Tyler Clemp, as always. I really don't know where Alan is, except he's walking through the front door. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, you better be. Oh, shut up. How far are you? You're six takes in past the news. Let me see the footage. Oh, that was the footage? Okay, we may be one take in. That's what I thought. Let's get over it. Let's do the intro. All right. Welcome to Grizzly Entertainments. I'm your host, Alan Jack. And I'm also your host, Tyler Clemp. We've got a great, great episode for y'all today. It's our 10th episode. We've been here for 10 episodes. But... Really? 10? 10. Okay. It's fantastic. But first, before we get to the action-packed stuff... Off to the news with Eric Norton. Thanks guys, in local and campus news, there will be an art hop today, Friday 6th, the 6th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Alamosa Presbyterian Church. Then on Saturday for International Women's Day, there will be food, fun art, and student research projects in Porter Hall from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Comedy Giants and Smartassery will start Tuesday, March 10th in the Experimental Theater, and we'll have another showing on Friday, March 13th at the same time and place. As always, good luck to all Adams State athletes this weekend. A new proposal from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment will make opting out of vaccines harder for parents. For kindergarten through 12th grade, parents are required to submit a list of vaccines that their children must have. Parents may choose to opt out, but will now have to submit this annually. In world news, one of FBI's most wanted has been placed under arrest in Somalia. The 29-year-old Laban Mohammed was arrested for allegedly, allegedly providing material support for terrorists. His extradition is unsure, and the U.S. and Somalia have yet to have a treaty in place. This has been the news. I'm Erica Norton. Did you get him? I can't. He's too hard to find. Well, thanks, man. Same old thing, different girl, dog. Like, I just wanted it all to be over. But yeah, I'll call you back. Mm -hmm. Like Mint's Guy Code, all new episodes, Wednesdays at 11, only on it. It's a sexy fact of human nature. You get more of a rise out of someone talking than typing. Call Live Links now. Make a real connection. Open up real possibilities. Because there are more local singles waiting to talk to you live on Live Links. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, girl, you got a sexy voice. Yeah, I like you. Love and a happiness. Wait a minute, something's going wrong. Someone's on the phone. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Talking about how she can make it right. Yeah. This is when you really feel good about somebody. There's nothing wrong being in love with someone. 
Watching this episode of Grizzly Entertainment. I really don't know where Tyler is, but. Hey, Tyler. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Grizzly Entertainment. It was a great episode. Tune in next week, where I hope to see everybody there. It should be a pretty great episode. Till next week. <laughs>